Welcome back. August is Breastfeeding Awareness Month. And to help all those mothers out, I'm talking with Prisma Lactation Consultant, Rebecca Rice. And let's start with some tips for helping these moms. I think a lot of us, we think that breastfeeding is just gonna come naturally. And we find out, wow, this is very, very hard. I personally yeah. found that out myself. I had to see a lactation consultant twice to finally get it down. Um, but I wanna go over some tips. I brought some of my own items. This is my breastfeeding pillow, um, some silverette cups, which really help with healing. So can you tell me what tips you have for people out there, for mothers, maybe they're either about to expect a baby or maybe they want another child and their first round of uh, nursing didn't work? Yeah, it's true that breastfeeding can be difficult. Initiating breastfeeding can mm -hmm. be difficult, but it is, it is natural in the way that walking or talking is natural but we all have to learn how to do those things so it's a learned skill for the mom and for the baby um, that being said i think one of the easiest and most effective ways to help promote breastfeeding is lots of skin to skin contact mm. i think that initial first hour after delivery where baby's laid on the mother's chest um, with no clothing in between them is really, really crucial because that helps the familiarize the baby with the environment of breastfeeding. And so that has, research shows that that is actually the most effective way to establish um, exclusive breastfeeding. Lots of skin to skin holding. Yeah. Um, and it is, um, I guess my second thing would probably be just don't be afraid to ask for help. Yeah. Um, so I think that having that support is really crucial in establishing breastfeeding um, and making it a success. And so as a registered nurse and a lactation consultant, I can confidently say we want to help you. We want yeah. to um, help you meet your goals. So do reach out for help. And I know for me, you really helped because with this pillow, it was getting me in the right posture and getting the baby in the right position. And I'm gonna demonstrate just how this pillow works, maybe in case a mom has never seen it. Yeah. So it actually, it goes around the waist you clip it in mm -hmm. and then the baby sits right here. There's actually um, these little pedestal, not pedestals, but it's bumps. a little bumps right here yeah. for the baby's <laughs> head so you can go on either side. Um, and this, I still use it to this day. Yeah, so that, that is amazing. Um, these silverette cups, uh, one of the other lactation consultants told me about them, but they have actual silver in them. Yeah. So they help with healing properties. I think they're anti-inflammatory. Antimicrobial, yeah. yeah, they really help. So that, that really was amazing for me. And then next I wanna go over breast milk itself because I was really surprised to learn that uh, nursed babies actually need less milk than formula fed babies. Can right. you explain why that is? Right, I would love to explain that. <laughs> Human milk is so amazing. Um, it is constantly changing in composition. It, my breast milk is going to be different from your breast milk because it's individual to each baby. Um, and so for that reason, as the baby is getting older, um, the volume doesn't need to change because the breast milk itself in composition will change. And mm. so the breastfed baby at nine months can take the same volume in ounces as the breastfed baby at three months and get all the nutrition they need and be satisfied. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Um, and we only have a little bit of time left, so let's quickly go over storing milk. I know it's um, that four hour rule, four or five hour rule, right? Right, so um, it's normally about four hours at room temperature um, in a very, very clean environment with a healthy mm -hmm. term baby. It can be even up to eight hours. A lot of moms are surprised to hear that. Um, four hours at room temperature. It is going to be about four to six months in a standard freezer. If you have a deep freezer, it's good for 12 wow. months. Wow, okay. Um, and if you are going to like heat up the milk in a bottle warmer, we do recommend that you use that milk within two hours. So. Okay, good to know. And I just wanna give some people some resources. We have some information that we could pull up on a screen just about um, the breastfeeding support group mm -hmm. that Prisma has. So if we can get that pulled up right there. Um, I understand you have classes that you can take, so you can sign up for those. Right. The support group is every Thursday, 1.30 1 30 to, 4, to 4, and that's at the main um, Paintwood facility that's there. Right. So that's what that address is. And then um, that's the number for a Prisma Lactation Support uh, hotline that you can call. Um, I actually, I think I called that to make an appointment. So yeah, I, I'm that's guessing right. you can make an appointments on that line as well. So that's Rebecca, right. thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, and thank this you has for been, having me. I think me. a great way to kind of help some of those mothers out. I know it's a tough journey. And uh, yeah. if you're out there, just keep pushing through. All right, thank you. <laughs>